is Annika Levitt. I'm a first grade teacher at Keele School in Kinelaw, New Jersey. And it is a, it's a great environment. It's a wonderful school. We've got an amazing principal. It's just a great place to be. My team captains are gonna get their science folders. You're gonna go back to your seat, and we're gonna get ready for you really need science. Get it? Yeah. Let's get it? Get it? Get it? Six and seven year olds are definitely, they're sponges. I mean, they absorb so much and they're, they're constant. In, in every direction they're constant. The way their mind works, the way, you know, they're, they're always thinking and they're always creating. And, you know, their attention spans. As a first grade teacher, you're, you're, you have to just keep on going and moving and transitioning. If I were six or seven and I had to sit at my seat all day long, right now I couldn't do it, so. Idea Paint has really helped, you know, just that flow of it. It's been, you know, a part of classroom management and watching them and watching them be able to brainstorm, watching their words and writing come alive and they're coming up with these pictures, they're writing on the floor and it's, it's great. It's really neat to watch. So, you know, to watch them do it for the first time was just, you know, unforgettable. It was really neat. I am a teacher who values communication. To me, nothing is more important for a parent than their child. You know, I'm with their children so much throughout the day, and to be able to share with them what we learn in here is, is so crucial to me. So when we got Idea Paint and the room was transformed, I had to think of a way that we can invite their parents in to share with us and enjoy it. And the expressions of the parents' faces when they walked in was worth everything. Ready? One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you, boy. Now hold there for a minute. One of the greatest professors I ever had in teaching said to me, you know, you can think of teaching, you know, like an elevator. And I said, how so? And, you know, I said, we live in a world and we're always rushing in society, we're always trying to get to our place and you push an elevator, the button, and it doesn't, you know, come down as fast as you'd like, so w what do we usually do? And the answer was, you push the button again, as if pushing that button is gonna make the elevator come any quicker. And I often think of teaching like that. You know, you can try to teach the same exact thing, and if the kid, if it's not clicking, it's not gonna click, but if you can grab a marker and say, let's go on the wall and do it, and it clicks, it's a different way, you're not pushing that same elevator button. So Idea Pain has definitely given me different ways to teach and different approaches. 